We got a few of tonight's Just Price Vinyl Records, and they're awesome. They are so awesome. Do you know why? Van Morrison. Exactly, Van Morrison, whose name isn't really Van Morrison. It's George Ivan, right? Yes, and he got the nickname Van in school. Okay. So there was a reason. I thought I thought his name was Donovan and that there was already a Donovan. Oh, but yeah? No. yeah? Yeah. Do you know what year he was born? I don't remember. 1945. I was like... Do you know, know where he was born? Ireland! Belfast, Ireland. Yeah, I knew that one. Oh, yeah, and I got one more fun fact for okay, you. Okay, what's that? Brown-Eyed Girl. Okay. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's it, just Brown-Eyed Girl. Greatest song ever. It is one of the greatest songs Epic. ever. Yeah. All right. So the first band that Van Morrison recorded with was them. Okay. But he was in bands before that because he started playing the guitar when he was 11. He formed his first band when he was 12. And he started playing saxophone when he was 14. Whoa. Yeah. Do you yeah. know why? No. Because his father had such a huge record collection. Yeah, and he liked lots of stuff, like the blues, and um, Ray Charles was one of his musical inspirations. Yes. So that's really cool. What else you got? Well, see, so them toured America, they were jumping on the back of the British invasion, and it didn't go the way they thought it would, so they returned to Ireland, and they were a little disenchanted, they ended up breaking up. But Burt Burns, who's the gentleman who wrote Here Comes the Night, mm -hmm. he convinced Van Morrison to come over to New York and record... And he signed him to his label, Bang Records. Bang? Bang. Bang. All right. You know who else is famous from Bang Records? No. Neil Diamond. Okay. I knew it had to be somebody else awesome. Yeah. And then was together from 1964 to 1966. Mm-hmm. Excellent. So, Blowing Your Mind was his first one with Bang, and actually his only one with Bang. What happened to the cover? Um, somebody licked it. Not me. You licked it? Not me. But the record's in beautiful shape. Now, see, Van Morrison didn't realize the way that this was going to go. And Burt just stuck it all on one record and released it. And Van Morrison was not happy. Okay. He was not happy with Blowing Your Mind, even though Brown Eyed Girl was on it. And do you know how many takes Brown Eyed Girl took? How many? 22. And do you know how many, cover, how many covers it's had? How many people no. have covered it? I No. Thousands upon thousands upon wow. thousands. Wow. Awesome song. So after Blowing Your Mind, then he went with Warner Brothers Records. They bought his contract from Irene after Bert died for $20,000 after he recorded the Revenge Tapes. The Revenge Tapes? Yes. It was 31 songs in one day that were gibberish and about ringworm and stuff that they couldn't even end up using because he needed a certain amount of songs to fulfill his contract. I can make 31 gibberish songs in one day. I think you can make 900 gibberish songs in one day. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. But, you know, I wonder if I'd sell any albums. I don't know. Were they ever released? Yes, they were released in 2017 on a band compilation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And then next we had Moon Dance, which was another awesome album. This is one of his more iconic albums, yes, I it, must say. This is his first album that sold one million copies. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so see, it was reissued a lot. And then we've got his band and the Street Choir. And the first song on here, Domino, That's hit number nine one. Yep. on the Billboard Hot 100. Hey, mm -hmm. is he in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yes, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1993. Okay. And then we've got Tapilo Honey, and this is the one that has Wild Nights, which John Mellencamp covered, which was really awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Very cool. And then we've got St. Dominic's Preview, and this one is a white label promo. What? Yeah, fuck. That's really cool. You smuggled it? No, I did not smuggle oh, it. Oh, you just restuck the white label on it? No, I did not. I think I you might have. I did not do anything like that. All right. I did not do anything like that. Why would you even think Now, this that? one also has a very famous song on it. Let's see if I can guess which one it is. I don't know. Ah, I won't stay still. Well, this was his highest charting album. That's what it is. It was his highest charting album to date, and it was his highest charting album until 2008. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. And then we've got Hard Nose Highway. Now, unfortunately, this one is also a white label promo. Okay. But this album was released to very mixed reviews. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not They're, one of my favorites. Yeah, but even though they were very mixed reviews, they were also very negative reviews. But you know what this one has that, that most of them don't? Aliens. Oh. <laughs> I was like, a uni pack? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Which I don't There's like. alien cows. Look, look. You're Check right. that out. I see it. 
What the? Yeah. Mm. So, so I'm guessing, you know, since this one had such not favorable reviews, then it was a while before he released anything else, but we did have the best of Van Morrison. Da Vinci. Mm-hmm. And then it took three years for a period of transition to come out. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch his music videos for like Some Brown Eyed Girl or any of that? Yeah. He he was he was very uh He kept licking his lips a lot and doing mm -hmm. different things mm -hmm. and showing off everything and I think he was doing that with a little tiny bit of Elvis. Mm hmm A little bit. I think so. So also for Astro Weeks, mm -hmm. it got very favorable reviews for the from the critics, but it didn't get a lot of sales from the music public. So he was starving. He was a starving artist? He was a starving artist. He was literally starving. Ouch. Yeah. All right. All right. And then we've got Wavelength, which of course. also, you know, unfortunately did not get the most favorable, um, reviews. favorable reviews or sales. It's got Wavelength on it, though, which but is an awesome song. Then we got Poetic Champions Compose, and this was like his highlight of the 80s. And this one had the song Someone Like You. Okay. Which has been in like a million movie soundtracks. Yes. Yeah. So isn't that cool? It's very cool. Yeah. All right. And he is still recording and performing, and he released an album in 2018. And to he won time. two Grammys. Really? Yes. He's got two Grammys. He's got two Grammys. That's it? Yes. I got like 32. Oh, I met somebody who's got like seven I, or eight. I bought them all. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't deserve them. All right, what okay. else is in this box? So then we've got Molly Crew. Black Sabbath, Whoa. more Black Sabbath, they are so clean. Black Sabbath, another Black Sabbath, oh, more Black Sabbath. You probably should have done Black Sabbath fun facts. I, I, I could have helped more. Yeah, you probably could have. And then we've got Band of Gypsies 2, Jimi Hendrix, which I don't think I've ever seen before, oh. and it's a gold stamp promo. How cool is that? Very cool. an awesome picture of Jimi. Yes. I really like that one. All right. Pink Floyd, and another Pink Floyd, and more Pink Floyd. And then we've got Leonard Skinner, Legend, and this one came out in like 1987. Okay, very cool. And it's a gold stamp promo. And it's not a record club. Okay. That's unusual. And Street Survivors Without the Flames. One more from the road. So you know what that means? They were alive! They were alive! From the road. From the road. On the road again. The Beatles. More Beatles. And another Beatles. And these Beatles. are super clean. Super clean. Prefab Sprout. Yeah. Queen. Bicycle. Bicycle. Todd Rundgren. Of course, Todd Rundgren. You got to pull it out. Let's it's show it. Awesome cover. I love yes. this cover. It's definitely a die cut. Mm hmm. Because. Oh, and it is a gatefold. Whoa. Yeah, it's a collage in green. You just blew my mind. Collage in green. Yes. Todd Rundgren, responsible for a lot of musicians. Tony McLean. Uh huh. It's metal. Oh, deep purple. And I don't understand. What? There's, there's a piece of cardboard. Well, yeah, that, that was to keep the record in there straight. Okay. I was like, it looks like it was cut perfectly. It, 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 it there, wasn't made like it wasn't made okay, for the record. I was gonna be like, why is this here? Aliens. Deep purple, more deep purple, and another deep purple. Oh, more deep purple made in Japan. So you know what that means? They were alive. They were alive. In Japan. In Japan. Bob Dylan. Ooh. Jethro Tull thick as a brick, but they did it the wrong way. What do you mean? They didn't fold it inside. They folded it outside. Oh, maybe you should correct that. Yeah, I'm a little scared to. All right, let's not. Yeah. Let's not do it on camera. No. This way, if we damage it, it's like, oops. Pretty thing, Savage Eye. Wow, that was savage. Wait, wait, wait. there's something better. There's something better. I got to show it. Look, that's the gate. Do -do 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 -do. It's a huge close-up of the eye. Good thing you didn't poke that one. How crazy is that? Good thing you didn't lick it. Like, why would I lick it? Why do you think I lick everything? Oh my gosh, come on. Yes, 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 it's yes. What? Close to the edge. Okay. Band on the run. Band on the run. Wings. Uh, Rolling Stones. Goat head freaking soup. Uh -huh. And it has the insert. Isn't that cool? Yes. Eagles. Genesis. More Genesis. Another Genesis. And more Genesis. Tommy the Who. All the Alarm. The Revere's. Forest Green. Forest Green. Forest Green. Doobie Brothers, Timothy B. Schmidt. Who? Oh, she's so pretty. Don't we make the cutest couple? Uh, no. Simon F. Joe Jackson, I remembered. Now that's Ashley. Joe Jackson, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's classical. Modern classical. Yes, it's it's electronic modern classical. And I thought it was going to end up being a Pink Floyd single or Led Zeppelin since there was no title on it. Very strange, right? That's what, it looked to me like it would be Pink Floyd. Yeah, it blew my mind. Ashland. Stabilizers. Harry and the freaking Hendersons. Harry and the Hendersons. I didn't know there was a soundtrack. Yes. Oh my gosh. And Joe Cocker's on I there. I know. Roy Buchanan. 
Uh, this is Soka. Soka. Soka music and Calypso. Mallow Poets. Gold Stamp Promo. Bad B? Big Audio Dynamite. Oh, Big Audio Dynamite. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Coltrane. All right. It's Ohm. Ohm by Coltrane, Ohm. and it's a reissue. Ohm. 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 Yep. Gene Krupa. How David, did he make the box? David Murray Octet. Oh, look. Louis Armstrong. Duke Ellington, yeah, there you Isn't go. Isn't that cool? That's Waller. Whoa. Yeah. Mulgrew Miller, Dick Hyman, Max Roche, The Fruits of Labor. Mmm. Aretha Franklin. Now that's actually pretty rare. And look, I got another Aretha Franklin, and it's super clean, and that's rare. Okay. Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Another Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Four Tops. George Strait. Willie Nelson. On the road again. Like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. All right, all right. More Willie Nelson, and another Willie Nelson, and more Willie Nelson, and more Willie Nelson wow. with Christopher Johnson. And then we got Willie and Waylon, and it's kind of sealed, but it doesn't count. Reed McIntyre, Glenn Campbell, Jesse Colin Young, and... Who? John? John? Who? John. All right, all John right. John Schneider. Roxanne! No, what? I don't know. The... <laughs> <laughs> So we're back with a poll. And a what? Guest. Yeah. Who's who's your special guest star? Oh. I'm your special guest star. Excellent. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Organizing the CDs, making them be beauteous. Yes. Do you know we got a lovely letter saying how organized the store was and how much he loved it? Really? Yes. yes. Thank yes. you. Mm-hmm. It, it was great. It really was. Awesome. It was uh I forget the guy's name. I'm terrible. Yeah. Teddy. 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 Yeah, Teddy. All right. So if you watch, hi Teddy. What'd you pick? Ten things I hate about you. Well, screw you, too. <laughs> all right, all right. What'd you pick? The classic season one of Robot Chicken. <laughs> have you seen it? Oh, I have. I'm a huge fan of Robot Chicken. All right, all right. Hey. I like chicken. I eat it all the time. Hey, hey, guess what? What? Chicken butt. I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, on the top of the screen, let me not click a second before his Robot Chicken or her. Ten things I hate about you. Where they don't even say what the ten things they hate about each other are. I bet you two of them are robots and chickens. What? Or butts. Maybe. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Those other ones can't do not. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it went real interesting real quick, didn't it? Sir Mix-a-Lot might have taken some of his mixer parts to make the chicken. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's the Colonel's recipe, though. You never know. You Ooh, never crispy. know. So now you gotta leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite work in this box is because we got some really awesome stuff. You gotta give us a like a big old thumbs up because everybody likes a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And you gotta head over to our eBay store, Spin Me Around store. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can get yourself a Spin Me Around t-shirt. And also, there's some awesome cassette auctions up there and more will go up. And they then, will? Yes. All right. And then you have to... Subscribe! 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 Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Because we do a video like this every night and we'll see you tomorrow. You're supposed to do the ding, 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 too. Ding, ding, ding. The camera wasn't on me. It doesn't matter. Aren't you in a band? Ding, ding, ding. Aren't you in a band? Ding, ding, ding. I are a in a band. Grab that sticker. <sighs> oh, let's see if we can get the focus. All focus. right. It's Facebook.com. Techno kill. Yeah, it's industrial music, right? Yes, yeah. it is. What, what's that go? Clang? Clang. Clang, 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 clang. Oh, and wait, look. They're perforated, too. They are. Ours aren't. Ours aren't. Ours we couldn't aren't. afford it. <laughs> we went the extra mile for perforation. Well, yeah, not us. We someone else because I don't think they gave us that option. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Bye.